Good morning everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to my channel. Starting off another work week in my life vlog. Quickly before I show you guys my outfit, I wanted to say a thank you to Code Academy for sponsoring today's video. I'll talk about them a little bit more when I get home, but just wanted to say thank you now. You guys have definitely seen this outfit before, but just in case anybody's new, these earrings are from Amazon. Dress is from Charming Charlie's a few summers ago, and then I'm just wearing my favorite Adidas sneakers because walking to the office and pretty casual day today as far as meetings and stuff like that goes. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my bag, make some coffee, and head over to the office. I just know they're gonna keep me in touch. to talk to you guys a little bit more about Code Academy and why I'm so excited that they are sponsoring this week's video. You guys know I am a graphic designer for a real estate agency and a lot of my day-to-day -day job is building websites for our buildings and maintaining those websites. I took a couple coding classes when I was back at Elon doing my undergrad, but that was a couple of years ago now, so I've been looking into different courses to kind of refresh my skill set and expand my knowledge on coding as a whole. Code Academy is an online website that basically breaks down coding languages and it teaches you how to code. So they have a bunch of different languages on there. I think there was like 10 or something crazy like that, but I am most familiar with HTML and CSS. That's just what I learned in undergrad and what I use most of the time now to build and maintain our building websites, like I said. I'll be sure to go ahead and insert some screen recordings of the actual site here, but the site is super easy to use and Code Academy really breaks down coding, which can be so, so complicated and overwhelming to learn on your own. The website has this sorting quiz that can help identify which coding language is best for you to learn, which is super helpful if you're unsure of where to get started or unfamiliar with which program would be best for you. I also love how they have weekly goal setting tools and 30 day challenges. It makes the whole learning experience really fun and it's a great way to optimize your time at home. I know I'm getting super angsty just like sitting around not doing anything. So having something productive and something to work towards has been really great for me. Code Academy is having a ton of really great discounts right now and a lot of their premium plans are at a really heavy discount. So if you've ever thought about learning to code, now is a great time to start. Even the pro subscriptions are significantly cheaper than you would pay for a college course and you can do it from the comfort of your own home at your own pace and really make sure that you're learning the material as it comes. Tech and coding skills are in super high demand right now in the current job market and are realistically only going to become more and more expected as we kind of progress to a more futuristic society if you will so that's why I was so excited to partner with Code Academy and push myself to become an even stronger HTML and CSS coder if you guys are interested in checking out any of their pro subscriptions I will go ahead and leave a link down below to the site if you guys want to check it out like I said it's a really great deal right now and something super productive that you can do with your time while you're in quarantine like I already said everything will be linked down below if you guys are interested thank you again at code academy for partnering with me on this video and let's get back to the vlog been a little 
little bit since I last checked in with you guys. I think the last clip I got, I was just getting back from Trader Joe's. So I unloaded all my groceries, worked on some stuff for my nine to five for a little bit more, and then took a shower. So my hair is like air drying now. I'm about to make dinner. I wanna try to make this like quinoa, Greek salad type of meal. I don't know if it's gonna turn out well. I'm not following a specific recipe. So I'll probably insert some like time-lapse type clips of that. Everybody. It is Wednesday around 1 p.m. I don't think I've talked in any of the clips that I filmed today. I woke up super early this morning to knock out a project that I didn't end up finishing last night and then just ended up working at home the majority of the morning. But it's like 1 p.m. like I said, so I'm about to head over to the office because I have a meeting at 2. It's raining pretty hard outside right now, so I think I'm gonna try to drive over while I have my car and risk street parking for the day. I think this is the most productive morning I've had in a couple of weeks, so that feels really good. Um, I'm gonna probably make another coffee and then head over to the office like I said, but I will quickly show you guys my outfit on the way out. You guys have definitely seen this outfit before, but I always get DMs on where the shirt is from, so I wanted to quickly go over just in case. These earrings are from Anya Hay. Tie top is from Express. Margaret M mini squares dress pants, super comfy. I'm wearing a size small today. And then my favorite little Steve Madden loafers. Very casual, comfy outfit. I've worn this so many times now, but just easy to throw on. And like I said, it's raining today, so just want it to be comfortable. And then I always get questions on my Madewell tote. I use that every day for work. It holds my laptop, the iPad, like water bottle, basically everything I need it to. So love that. It'll be linked down below in case any of you are interested as with everything else that I'm wearing per usual. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and make another coffee and then head over to the office for a bit. your day yeah I am home from work now I just got home and changed into some comfy clothes for the night it is super rainy and gloomy outside so it feels good to be in comfy clothes all snuggled up work was really productive today I feel good about getting everything done I know I'm gonna have a busy day tomorrow but I feel like I set myself up for success at least so gonna hopefully sleep well tonight knowing that after work I had a quick coffee date with a new friend 
and we just got coffee and sat outside in the park which was really nice the rain held off for the majority of it which was really convenient um she's a local like dc northern virginia photographer videographer so if any of you are looking for photos or videos definitely check her out i'll have her instagram link down below really love the way she edits her photos and she was so sweet so that was nice but i am home for the evening now like i said i'm about to eat some more of that quinoa greek salad type deal that i made yesterday it actually tastes a lot better today than yesterday i think because everything had a chance to kind of marinate and cool down in the fridge so i'm so glad that i made that yesterday just because i do it not feeling cooking so that is the vibe I'm gonna go ahead and eat some of that and then i'll check in with you guys later it's been a little bit since i last checked in with you guys i truly have not done anything since i got home which has been really nice just because i had such a long day of work that i really needed to rest and just take time to do nothing pretty early it's only like 9 30 right now but i really didn't sleep at all last night because leo was just like getting into everything and exploring and being a little kitten so i just fed him some wet food so i'm hoping he'll be so full he just falls asleep for a couple of hours so i can at least get a little bit of sleep um so i'm just doing my skincare now and then honestly i'm hoping to be asleep by 10 because I mean, what else am I gonna do? It's a pandemic, you know? We got no plans. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me tonight. So I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Wednesday. I don't think I've vlogged yet today talking to the camera. It was a super busy day at work, which I feel like has been every day this week, but I got into the office a little bit early today just because we had a proposal due at five and I was just nervous we wouldn't meet the deadline, but we did. That's all good. It's another super gloomy rainy day here in DC, so I got soaked walking home and just showered immediately when I got back and then went to the mailroom and got some packages that I wanted to unbox for you guys. The first package I wanted to show you guys is from Goba, which is a new bubble tea brand, I believe. The founder, Noah, reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and asked if I wanted to try some. I believe this is the first like low calorie vegan bubble tea on the market i could be wrong i just double checked the email and he said that they created the first bottled low calorie vegan boba tea i don't know if boba tea and bubble tea are the same thing i think they are but it's boba tea i was so excited to see this email if you guys haven't watched my channel for a while i actually studied abroad in vietnam and boba tea is really big there so that's kind of where i got my boba tea fix from if you will i am so excited to try this out so they have a passion fruit green tea flavor a pomegranate green tea and mango green tea flavor all of these look so good i'm obsessed with boba tea so i'm so excited to try these out i think i have a coupon code for you guys as well i'll put it on the screen but i believe if you use the code amy roush you get a free bottle with any purchase so if you guys are interested i will make sure to have all of this link down below it looks like there's a ton of really good vitamins and minerals in here as well so definitely gonna have to test these out sometime in the next day or two and let you guys know what i think but thank you so much noah for sending these over if you're watching and then the second package i have is from chewy i ordered a scratching post for this one he has like a small scratch pad out right now but i wanted to get him something that was a little bit more freestanding that he could use and i've had my eye on this specific one but it was out of stock for a little bit so when i saw that it came back in i snatched it up Stop. what is wrong with you this is a gift for you you're being so ungrateful 
that was truly a massive box for this tiny ass little box to be inside of it i don't know why they couldn't just ship this honestly the box was so big i assumed that this was coming assembled but mister i don't know if you guys can see it through this like plastic label here but it's basically this cactus shaped scratching post which i feel like is right up my alley this looks super easy to assemble though so i'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly and then i will check in with you guys and show you the final product yeah and look you can scratch <laughs> he definitely likes the toy but right now he likes the box more I'm hoping by keeping this over here that will deter him or at least distract him from playing with the tripods and the cord of the air purifier at night. Not sure if this is going to be an efficient strategy, but he seems to enjoy it over here and he loves going behind this mirror. So I feel like the combination of that could be good. I guess time will tell. Look. It's been a couple of hours since I last checked in with you guys. I've been working on some Instagram brand stories and just getting those ready for approval and all that good stuff. But it's like 7.30 now, I think. I'm about to make dinner. I picked up one of the Trader Joe's butternut squash mac and cheeses the other day. So I think I'm going to quickly make that because I'm in a pretty productive mood right now. And I want to finish editing the vlog that's going up on Sunday. I thought I was more ahead than I was, but it's already Thursday so I'd love to get that knocked out before tomorrow night that way I can kind of relax this weekend and focus on this video that I'm filming right now so I think that's the plan mac and cheese and then editing for a little bit I did end up trying one of the boba teas I tried the mango green tea flavor and it is so good as you guys can see I've pretty much drank the entire thing I just have a little bit left at the bottom and some of the actual bubbles but it is so so yummy so I 100% recommend that like I said I'll have them linked down below this isn't sponsored or anything I just really really like it that is the seven o'clock check-in though i'm gonna go ahead and make dinner and then catch up with you guys after bit after nine now i don't know if you guys can see that but i just finished editing this week's video which feels really good to be done with that on thursday it's exporting right now and then i think i'm going to upload it tonight and then do all of the tags title thumbnail and all of that tomorrow or saturday but the bulk of it is done which feels good and honestly i might start editing this vlog now just because like i said i still have a little bit of energy i don't know how because i woke up pretty early today and yesterday and the day before and have just been grinding out work at my nine to five so I don't know where or how I still have any motivation to do anything but while I have it I feel like I might as well start editing this video that way I don't have to do a ton next week I don't know the other part of me thinks that I should probably just call it quits for the night and try to relax watch some Netflix or youtube or something like that i think i'm gonna compromise with myself and work for another like 45 minutes and then take another hour to like decompress the day so that is the plan i will check in with you guys if anything interesting happens if not i will probably just catch up with you guys in the morning everybody it is much later on friday night now 
I didn't end up filming too much today just because nothing really eventful happened at work. It was super rainy this morning, like every other day this week. I just went in, wrapped up some projects, got coffee, and then basically called it a day a little bit on the earlier side, which was nice, and then came home, just did some things around the house, curled my hair, and like I said, I've just been like taking care of other like small nitpicky things like paying bills and stuff like that but it's like four o'clock now i think my friend annie's on her way over and we're gonna drink on my rooftop for a little bit so that'll be nice looking forward to that um but i think that that's probably it for this vlog i don't think anything too exciting is gonna happen before i wrap up the vlog though i wanted to say thank you again to code academy for sponsoring this week's video i'll make sure to have all the links down below in case you guys want to check it out i am so excited to be partnering with them and lastly i wanted to say thank you to you guys for watching and supporting as always it definitely doesn't go unnoticed and really does make my quality of life so much better so thank you again and yeah i think that's everything for this week's vlog so i will see you guys next week bye